Hey, folks, and good afternoon from Studio B. Yeah, we're back in Studio B after spending yesterday setting up Studio A. I did a video today from Studio A. You might have checked that one out. Uh, but anyway, um, more Spiders baseball today. However, we have a bonus for you today, and you're going to see that when I get down to the field. Yes, I'm all excited today about today's broadcast. Filling in for Ron, who, as you know, is feeling under the weather, and uh, he's doing okay. Um, but we are concerned with him, but we're just keeping an eye on him. But he's getting some rest and drinking some fluids and having a lot of McDonald's. And so hopefully um, between the McDonald's and the Wendy's and the rest and the water that he will be uh, back up to speed shortly. So I just want to make sure that we are live and looking good right now, or at least the broadcast on me. Okay, I think we are. All righty. First thing, though, let me thank you to my Patreons and some new ones here. Thank you, Craig S., Craig M., and also KFan. Thank you so much for supporting Digital to Dice podcast as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for all that you guys do in helping us keep this thing going. So now without further ado, let's get down to the field. And the first thing you're going to notice, <laughs> I get pictures from 1899. Yes, thank you so much uh, to Mr. Meister, who sent me some photos from this season. I'm not sure if they're the exact photos or illustration what they are, but I'm going to use them today. And I'm all excited that I have photos from 1899. Uh, I started um, putting them in. They actually went in pretty easily i didn't even have to adjust the alias file i was surprised at that or at least on most of them anyway so uh hopefully all the photos will work and they will look good as as well as they can from 1899 so i'm, I'm all excited about this season and about um about the photos now so again i'm filling in for ron this afternoon as we get some baseball here on the channel cleveland spiders baseball on the cleveland spiders ticker tape network and cleveland baseball fan shows up he's the first to arrive at the park the first of 100 visitors expected today in cleveland as they take on the chicago orphans cleveland still riding a high after last night's victory or the other night's victory yes we streamed the game and cleveland won they are one and eleven so can we make it back-to-back -back wins here on the channel? We're going to find out. Let me just check my options here. I do like a little bit of sound when I play. Okay, that's kind of good. And hopefully we'll have everything rocking and rolling here. All right. So it's going to be Jack Stivitz on the mound for the Spiders today. And coming up to bat is Jimmy Ryan, the left fielder of the Chicago Orphans. He's hitting 246 today. And Stivitz with the pitch. And Ryan hits a swing into left field. Holly racing over. Holly will make the catch, so no errors yet for the Spiders. And that's pretty good. All righty, Danny Green. Danny Green hitting 284. The right fielder for the Orphans. And he's going to hit this one. Hard down to Lockhead. Easy play for Lockhead. And there is now two away. And we got Harry Wolverton. 349 he's hitting for Chicago here in the season. A Steeler fan showed up here today to check out some Spiders baseball. And the Orphans are 9 and 6, so they're, they're doing quite well anyway. Really enjoying this 1899 season. That's going to be a whole topic for a show, I think. Uh, enjoying the season that you're playing. All righty, so Wolverton takes the pitch from Stivitz, and he hits this one deep in the center field. Dowd going back, and he will track this one down and retire the side. So the Orphans go down in order. And Cleveland coming up to bat. And we got Tommy Dow, the dapper-looking Tommy Dow. I got my photos here from 1899. And hopefully they're the correct ones. I, someone sent them to me today. Mr. Meister, thank you so much. And hopefully that they, uh, they will work. And so it's Jack Taylor on the mound for the offense. Pitching to Tommy Dow. Tommy, Tommy Dow is going to hit this one right back to the mound. Taylor trying to come up with this one. He picks it up, and he can't make the play. So Dowd will get on as the throw pulled Everett off the bag. And uh, if Danny Green had played for Cleveland, see kill the Irishman. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. So Holly's up at the plate. This is Dick Harley. And uh-oh, Dowd taking off, and he gets in there, and he's going to go to third base on the error. So Chance threw this one away. And oh boy, so now the Spiders got the lead runner. On third base here with Ah 
absolutely nobody out. Holly takes the pitch, and he's going to wrap this one in the right field in the Spiders. All right, the Spiders lead this one one to nothing. And check your ticker tape, folks. That is not a misprint. The Spiders lead one to nothing. So the error by the pitcher, stolen base, then another error. So that's two errors for Chicago. We're not, we don't even have an out yet in the first inning. And, uh, again, this game is brought to you by Uncle Ron Snake Oil. Uncle Ron's glad to have Uncle Ron Snake Oil back as a sponsor. Uh, there was some issues between us and Uncle Ron Snake Oil, but not, he, where things are all resolved. The snake oil is new and improved, by the way. And so, again, if you're feeling down, if you're feeling ill, if you have a stomach ache, or if you're just cold, try Uncle Ron Snake Oil. It cures everything and then some. And Steeler fan had brought some licorice for the orphans, and he realized they were grown men. <laughs> it is a weird name for a baseball team, is it? <laughs> All righty, Joe Quinn up. Quinny at the plate, and he's going to ground this. Oh, popped it out, actually. And DeMontreville will scoop that up at shortstop. Routine. And there's one away. Finally, there's one away here. Lave Cross coming up. And Lave Cross is going to wrap this one at DeMontreville. And he'll grab that one as well. as That could have been extra bases, but a nice catch by the shortstop. So there's two away. Harry Lockhead coming up for the Spiders. He's hitting 2 4, four. And Lockhead will hit this one. Just a blooper in the center field. Land will come in and take that one. And that retires the side. The Spiders, though, they do get one. Yes, they do. And it's one nothing Cleveland as we go to the top of the second. Bill Lange. Will come up. He's hitting 403. He is a hitter here, folks. And he's going to wrap this one into left field. Hardly going back, trying to get a beat on this one. No, that's going to drop in. And he's going to throw this one in. It's going to be a wild throw. So Land goes around first, and he will head into second base. So the Spiders have an error in this game as well, as Hardly couldn't get that one. And then he threw it past the cutoff man. So each team having some problems in the field early in this game. It is going to be Everett now up at the plate, and he's hitting 403. And, boy, I don't like to bunt with guys that are hitting 403. So we're going to swing away. And, oh, he popped it up. Would have been better off with a bunt. Tucker coming over and make the catch, and there's one away. Land will stay at second base. Gene DeMontreville, he is the shortstop. And Gino is going to wrap this one right up the middle. And they're going to send Lange home. Here comes the play at the plate. And it's going to be in there. And DeMontreville will go to shorts, uh, down to second base, rather. The shortstop will take second base. And the game is tied at 1-1 one one on the single. So the error is costing each team a run here in the game. Barry McCormick now, he's our second baseman, and McCormick's going to ground this one down to Quinn. Quinn flips it over to first, and there's two away. DeMontreville will take third base. Frankie Chance coming up, hitting 350 this season. Well, it says he's hitting 244, but in the yellow, he's hitting 350. Hmm. I'll have to I'll have to ask about that. Why is the red different than the yellow? It says he's hitting 244 with a home run, but up top here he's hitting 350 with no home runs. Or maybe it's his home run rating. I'll have to find I'll have to ask Ron about that. I'll have to find out why that average is different. All righty, chance coming up. Oh, maybe that's against righties or lefties. Maybe that is. If, if you know why the red, see on the red there and in the batting order, it's different than uh, the batting average up there. So I'm wondering what the difference is there. Maybe it, that's against righties and lefties or something. I'm not sure. So if you, uh, I'll have to ask that in Strat. All right, so he's going to hit this down to Tucker. Tucker comes up with it, but then, no, oh, he makes the play. So he prevents another run. So Tucker down there. Takes it to the bag himself. So it's one-to-one one as we go to the bottom of the second. Spiders looking for their second win in a row here, folks. Chief Zimmer coming up. The Chief's hitting 455, and he's going to add to that as he hits that right up the middle. So Jack Taylor getting hit already for a couple of runs here by the Spiders. 
Tommy Tucker coming up. He's got that mustache that all the ladies like. And Tucker's going to hit this one in the right field. Green will easily make this catch. And there's one away, and the Chief goes back to first base. Suter Sullivan, he's our right fielder. He's hitting two, seven, three. And strike him out. First strike out of the game. Taylor gets him the fan, and it's going to be the pitcher, Jack Stivitz, coming up. And Stivitz is going to wrap this one in the left field. Ryan going way over, and Zimmer will stop at second base. Hmm. I thought they might have sent him. I thought that was a single with a two, but maybe he's a weak batter. Tommy Dowd coming up. He's got two on and two out. Chance for the Spiders to take the lead here. And ground ball to short. DeMontreville trying to come up with this one. He gets it. Can he complete the play? And he does. So nice play there by the shortstop who's been busy down there for all the orphans. And they get out of the jam. Let's go to the third one-to-one -one here in Cleveland. Jack Taylor, the pitcher, coming up. I like these pitchers, by the way. That was so awesome that um that uh, the Meister sent it to me. And he's going to wrap this one into center field. Dowd going back in right center, and he will come up with a catch. And there's one away. Jimmy Ryan now. Coming up to the plate. Flied out in this game. And Jimmy Ryan is going to wrap that one right at the shortstop. Wow, Lockett had to jump for that one. He got way up in the air to make that catch. And his two away now in the Chicago third. Danny Green, he grounded out. And Danny Green, oh, he gets the walk. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And Harry Wolverton coming up with one on and two away. And he's going to bloop this one in the left field. And, yeah, we'll send. We'll see if we can get him to third base. The throw coming in to third, and they got him. They got him a precise throw in the third base, and they nipped the runner. And that ends it here for Chicago. Let's go to the bottom of the third. It's one-to-one. One. Each team with a run and three hits as Al Red Sox fan jumps in here for some lunchtime baseballs. I'm taking over for Uncle Ron today, who's a little under the weather. But hopefully another round of McDonald's and Wendy's is going to cheer him up. That we hear that that is the key. Dick Harley. Hey, Al, I got a question for you here if you hear Al. In my lineup, I got Dick Harley here. His average is 250. That's hit, that's the red, 250. And But above me here, his yellow is 326. So wh why, is, why are they different? Is, is the average the average maybe against a righty pitcher or a lefty pitcher and the yellow... 326, that's what he's actually hitting that season. So I'm trying to figure out why the averages are different. I just noticed that. Oh, yeah, Tony, if they were called Cleveland Spiders instead of the Guardians of the Galaxy, I absolutely would have bought some Spider merchandise. That would have been so cool. But I think this team is just so bad that they don't want to have that stigma. Cleveland's tough enough. They, they could have just called themselves the Browns if they wanted a bad team, you know what I mean? But, but anyway, I'm trying to figure out why the averages are different. The red average in the lineup is different th than the uh, yellow average going across. That's what I'm trying to figure out. So uh, Dick Holly, though, he's one for one today. Yellow's his average on the replay. Okay. Now, what is the red? So I got the Cleveland lineup. Was that his, his overall average for the season, maybe? Oh, yeah, because above me is 250. Okay. Okay, maybe that's what it is. Maybe I see a bubbing that's 250. Okay, I'm still getting used to some of this. There's so many stats in this game. It's awesome. All right, so he's hitting 326 for me, and this one's going to be flying in the center of the lounge underneath it. He'll make that catch. And so now we get Joe Quinn coming up here with one away. Oh, I see it now. Okay, so the white is matching up. Okay, red is for the game, yellow's for the, for my replay, and white is – yeah, so I see the white is lining up with his average on the thing. Okay, I see that now. Great, thank you. And so Quinn didn't hit any home runs, by the way. And Taylor, Taylor from Planet of the Apes with the pitch. And Quinn gets a hold of this one. This is over the head of Lange. That's going to be bouncing to the wall. Quinn speeding around second, and he's going to go into third with a triple. And 
Quinn on his horse has put the go-ahead run for the Spiders at third base, and it's Lave Cross, one of the better hitters for the Spiders. Cross trying to get this runner across. Jack Taylor, who's had a tough day. Pitches, and, oh, we got to play with a catcher here. This could be, a, is it a wild pitch or a pop-up? And, oh, I think it's going to be a put-out here. And Major League pop-up, and the catcher chance makes the catch, so leave pops up. You like the play of the apes, Al. I know we both do. Lockhead coming up with two away. He's hitting 239 and pops this one up. The Montreville underneath it, and Chicago gets out of it, and the Spiders leave a man at third base. Let's go to the fourth. It's tied at one. Stivitz on the mound against Bill Lange. And Lange is going to dribble this one back to the mound. Easy play for Stivitz. Count that one to three, one away. And it's going to be Bill Everett. Billy Everett is our first baseman for the Orphans. Stivitz. And this one's hit into right field. Suter Sullivan going back. And this is going to drop over his head. He fires it back in, but not before Everett. Will slide in the second base with a double. And so the go-ahead run now is on second base for the Orphans. And we got Gene DeMontreville coming up. Gino is the shortstop. He's hitting 317 in this season so far. And this is going to be a fly ball to Harley in left. Uh-oh, this could be some trouble. No, Harley makes the catch. And he, Everett's going to have to hold the second base. So, Holly with a terrific play out there. Shoestring catch. And, no, we're going to hold the runner at second. We don't want to get anybody thrown out. Yes, Al, I just got the player photos in. Uh, I, I checked my Digital to Dice email. And um, I don't know if I want to say his name, but the, the Meister sent me these. I'm going to call him the Meister. And they went popped right in. I, I started to uh, adjust the alias file, and I, f I realized I didn't have to. So it must have found them automatically. So I'm pretty happy about that. So I, I, I have my photos for 1899. So I'll be playing a lot of 1899 baseball. All right, we got Barry McCormick up. He was not on the Brady Bunch by chance, and McCormick now facing Stivitz. McCormick not doing too well. He's hitting 204 this season, and he's just going to nub this one down to Quinn, and that'll retire the side. Hey, let's go to the bottom of the fourth here in Cleveland. It's one to one, Spiders. Picked up a win on my last broadcast here on the channel, and they're looking for back-to-back -back wins for the first time this season. They're 1-11, so this would be the second win. So it would be the only time they could be back-to-back. -back. Think about that. Chief Zimmer is up at the plate, and Chief Zimmer rips this one in the right field, and Zimmer is on. He's 2-for-2 two two today. Tommy Tucker coming up. Tucker. He's hitting 159, not having a good season at all. And Tucker pops this one up to first base. Everett, easy play. And now there's one away. Suter Sullivan, he struck out. And this time, oh, he's going to wrap this one. And that goes into the gap. That's going to fall in for extra bases. Chief Zimmer around second goes into third. He's going to put on the stop sign there. So the Spiders with one away. Have two men on, second and third, and it's the pitcher, Jack Stivitz, coming up. So Jack Taylor wiping his brow right now. He's in some trouble. He's giving up six, hit, six hits of these lowly spiders. So they're going to pitch to Stivitz. Here comes the pitch, and Stivitz grounds us down the short. Let's see what happens here. Over the first in time, but the run will come in. So the pitcher getting his J-O-B done, and the spiders... Have a 2-1 lead here in the fourth. Ooh, this is some spider baseball we haven't seen all season, folks. Tommy Dowd coming up, hitting 211. The Dowdster. And nubs this down. And Taylor picks it up, and that ends that. So we go to the top of the fifth. Hey, 2-1 Spiders here on the Spiders Ticker Tape Network. Frankie Chance coming up for the Orphans right now. Stivitz deals. And line drive right at Lockhead. He picks this one up. And there's one away. Jack Taylor, the pitcher. See if he can get something going here. 
Jack Taylor will hit this one up the middle. Yeah, so Taylor, the pitchers on both pitchers getting hits in this game. That's always fun to see. So now we have Jack Ryan coming up to the plate. He's 0 for 2 today. Ryan going to lift this one in the right field. Suter Sullivan going over, and he can't get there. That's going to drop in. And he's going to throw this back in. It's going to be a wild throw back in by Sullivan. Taylor around second, in the third. And Taylor will come in to score. And also Ryan comes in to score. <laughs> it's a double with two errors on the play. Woo. Good thing I checked that box Ron told me to check because we're having some fun now. <laughs> it's a double and an error, a two-base throwing error as he threw that into the dugout. Trying to get the man at third base. And two runs here by Chicago on errors. Each team with a pair of errors in this game. And the Orphans lead this one 3-2. to two. So Al Red Sox fan stepped away to, to uh, go out to his buggy to get some popcorn or something. And he missed a two-run play by the Orphan. Danny Green. And Stavitt struck him out. Danny Green goes down swinging. That's the first strikeout of the game for Stivitz. Harry Wolverton coming up. He is one for two with a single. And he's going to make this two for three with a single. And they get a runner on. So two outs. Man on first. And we got Bill Lange up. And he's going to hit this down to Quinn. Can Quinn come up with this? Please, no more errors. And it gets by Quinn in the right field. And it's thrown away by Sullivan again. Wolverton to third, Lange to second, and it's now three errors for the Spiders as this has been a bad, bad fifth inning for the Cleveland faithful. Stivitz now pitching to Bill Everett. Everett uh, is going to ground this one down to Quinn. Quinn needs to come up with this to save a run. No, it gets by him. It gets by him. In the right field, Wolverton comes in to score. Lange comes around third. He will score, and it's a four-run fifth inning for the Orphans. So a 2-1 to one lead has turned into a 5-2 to two deficit here in the fifth inning, and Stivitz on the mound. Can't believe he can't get any help out in the field. DeMontreville coming on now, and DeMontreville will pop this one up in the left field. Harley will get it. The inning mercifully ends, but, yes, it was not a good inning whatsoever for the Cleveland fans here at League Field. So we go to the bottom of the fifth. Spiders down 5-2. to two. Harley coming up, facing Taylor, and Harley is going to nub this one down to short, easy play, and there's one away. Quinn's one for two. He's got a triple in this game. This time he gets underneath it. Everett over by the first baseline will make the catch in his two away. So the spider is going down quickly. Lave Cross 0 for two today despite hitting 259. And finally he gets on base. He grounds that one past McCormick in the center field. So the spider's got a man on with two outs. Yeah, what happened to the spider is you went to go and... Um, you know, get some popcorn out of your buggy there. And, boy, I tell you, you missed a whole bunch here. You can never turn your head in a Cleveland Spiders game. Harry Lockhead. And Lockhead hits this one up the middle. So the Spiders now, they got the tying run at the plate. And it's Chief Zimmer, who's two for two. Oh, boy, Jack Taylor is making this interesting on the mound for the Chicago Orphans. And this one hits sharply, though, down to Montreville. He gets it. And that'll retire the side. But the Spiders threatened, but they did not score. Hey, let's go to the six on the Cleveland Spiders ticker tape network. It's Chicago 5 and Cleveland 2. We got Barry McCormick again. He was not on the Brady Bunch. And he's going to get the walk. <laughs> so Stivitz walks him in. And Frankie Chance coming up. Take a chance. No, he popped it up. Lockhead underneath it and bobbles it, but he hangs on. And there's one away. Here comes the pitcher, Jack Taylor. Taylor is going to line this one down to Quinn. He looks back, McCormick, and there's two away. So the top of the lineup, it's Jimmy Ryan. He's one for three today. He's got a double and uh, got an error on that throw, by the way. Hits this one down to Quinn. Quinn stops this one from going in the right field. And that ends the inning. Hey, let's go to the bottom of the six. Five to Chicago. Tommy Tucker 
not having a good day. He's 0 for 2. He's hitting 156 on the season. And Tucker grounds us down to McCormick. McCormick, the usually reliable second baseman, gets under it. The throw over is good. And so, boy, I tell you, we have errors on this channel. Like Al Red Sox fan has kicking problems when he does his football games. Another one last night. Don't want to spoil anything, but there was some kicking problems last night in his football game. Suter Sullivan hitting a respectable 283 in my replay. And oh, he got under this one. He just missed this one. Lange way back makes the catch. He was just a couple of numbers away from a home run. But it's going to be Stivitz, the pitcher, with two outs. And Jack ropes this into left field. Ryan coming over. Ryan trying to get there, and he will not make the catch. It gets by him. Stivitz should be scooting around first base and into second. Yes, yeah, so the pitcher's on base for the second time. And, boy, Jack Taylor's having a rough outing here. He's given up eight hits to these Spiders who are, who are coming off that red-hot win last night. So they're still all pumped up. I don't think many of them slept last night after that win. Tommy Dowd with a chance to get at least one run across, and Dowd will strike out as Taylor struck him out. And we go to the seventh. Still 5-2. The Orphans. What a great name for a baseball team, the Orphans. Stivitz still on the mound. He's facing Danny Green, who's 0 for 2. And Green slaps this one up the middle, so now he's got a hit for himself, and he'll take first base. He's being held on by Tucker. What are the chances of stealing here? Yeah, 50 We're going to steal. Why not? We haven't stolen all game. Let's see if we can get an error out of this. Here goes the steal, and he's in there. So Green, a 50-50 chance. Steals second base, and now it's Wolverton up. And Wolverton, oh, he's going to lay down a bunt. They're not going to expect this. He's going to try to bunt here. Wolverton drops down this bunt. They weren't expecting it. Zimmer's only played a first. So Green, after the single, a stolen base and a bunt, he's in scoring position as the Orphans look to pad their lead here. Bill Lange is two for three. Always a threat. And he's going to walk. Mm -mm -mm. So we got first and third now with one away. It's going to be Bill Everett. The first baseman, two for three with a double. Everett, uh-oh. Oh, he just missed a triple. But the run's going to score. Man on first can go to third. Yes, we're going to send the lead runner. Land trying to get into third. He's digging hard, and he's in there. So Everett slaps home a run, and it's now 6-2 to two for Chicago. DeMontreville, the shortstop coming up. To Montreville, he's going to hit this one in the right field, and another run comes home. And Everett's going to try to get the third base. Here comes the throw, and he's in there. So they're hitting him around here. 12 hits now for the Orphans of Chicago as they're really taking it to the Spiders here. Stivitz is in some trouble now. Barry McCormick coming up. He walked the last time up, and this time he's on base with a single, and it's another run. And we're going to hold the runner this time. So DeMontreville's going to stop at second on that one. And all heck is breaking loose here. 13 hits for Chicago right now. And they lead it 8-2. to two. Chance coming up. He's 0 for 3, but he's due for a hit. And Chance will ground it down to lock at it short. Can he come up with this play? No! It gets into left field. And the throw back in is a bad one. And DeMontreville comes around the score, and it's 9-2. to And, folks, this is Cleveland Spiders baseball at its best. A 2-1 to lead has turned into a 9-2 to deficit in just a couple of innings or so. And there's still only one away in the seventh. Jack Taylor, the play of the apes, coming up. Taylor, and, oh, the ball gets away. And another run comes in, and it just gets better, folks. <laughs> oh, that is fantastic. So the pitcher, Taylor, who is one for three in this game, now is a runner at third base with only one away, and he's going to get a walk. Oh, boy. So it's going to be Jack Ryan, one for four, with runners at the corners, and this one's back to the mound. Stivitz gets it, but another run comes in. It's 10 to 2 Chicago. And the win streak, yes, it seems to be coming to an end, but 
you know, down 10-2, to two, you know, the Spiders might have them right where they want them. Danny Green, he's going to walk, and Stivitz is now in all kinds of trouble. Here, he's given up five runs in the seventh, and the bases are loaded for Harry Wolverton. And, boy, we can't bunt. It'd be funny. I was thinking about trying to bunt. What are my options here? Just to get crazy here. Hold, position defense, attention. Well, we can't do any of that because I don't want to control the spiders. I was going to do something crazy if I could have bunted, but Wolverton's an A bunter. It's not letting me bunt. No, it's not letting me bunt with the bases loaded. Two away. Oh, because it's two away. Okay. And Wolverton grounds it back to Stivitz, who comes up with it, and he gets out of the inning. But, boy, the damage has been done, folks. And the uh, 150 faithful here that were here to see this game today are slowly filing out as the sun starts to set in Cleveland in more ways than one. 10-2, to two, bottom of the seventh. Dick Harley coming up, and Taylor struck him out. And that's the third strikeout of the day for Taylor. Joe Quinn now. Quinn is going to lift this one in the left field. Ryan's underneath that, and he is out. There's two away. All right, Lave Cross coming up with nobody on, and he grounds us in down to DeMontreville, and DeMontreville sends us over to first base, and the Spiders go down quietly in the seventh. Top of the eighth, Bill Lynch coming up. He's two for three. He gets underneath this one, though, and Lockhead will scoop this one up, and there's one gone. Bill Everett's three for four, double, and a couple of singles. He's had a big day here. This one grounds it down to Quinn. Quinn, easy play, and there's two away. Now this DeMontreville, he's, had a, he's a handsome-looking guy down at shortstop. He's a fan favorite back in Chicago, that's for sure. And he's going to get a hold of this one, and that drops in for a hit. So he's three for four on the day. He goes down to first base, and he's going to take off. We're going to send him because we have a huge lead. Here he goes. The throw, not in time. And DeMontreville's on. And he's going to try to go for third, too. He's going to go for third. Here he goes. DeMontreville on a source going down, and he's in there. He stole two bases. Holy cow. Now, I can't steal home. I only got a 5% chance. I, I would definitely bunt him if there wasn't two outs, but... We're gonna, so now he's a couple of base stole, steals there by DeMontreville, and uh, the ladies back in Chicago are going to be all thrilled to talk to him about that uh, scenario. And McCormick coming up. McCormick, and he will get a walk. So we got first and third. And coming up is the ever-dangerous Frank Chance. He's one for four. He's got a chance, and he will hit this one in the left field, and DeMontreville scores easily. And we're going to hold all that there. Stivitz is tired now, and so he's probably coming out. It's 11 to 2. Yep, and coming into the game now is Maupin. So Harry Maupin will come in, and he'll try to Maupin up here a little bit as it's the pitcher Taylor with two away. Taylor, and we're going to check here with the catcher. Is this going to be a wild pitch? No, I think he popped it up. Uh, it's a pass ball. It got by him. So I forgot if this run is on base, it's a pass ball. I still don't know the catcher one too well. I, I keep trying to learn the catcher thing. Oh, boy. So now, chance at second. McCormick at third. The pitcher, Taylor, still at the plate with two outs. Taylor hits it down to Lockhead, and that'll end the inning. But another run. It's 11 to 2 as we go to the bottom of the eighth here in Cleveland. Thanks for tuning in at lunchtime today on this Wednesday as I fill in for Ron, who's under the weather today. He may or may not be listening right now. Lockhead up now. Grounds us down to DeMontreville. The usually reliable shortstop comes over. He gets it. The throw. No! He threw it in the dirt. And Lockhead is safe at first base. So that's the fourth error for Chicago in this game. DeMontreville, he stole a couple of bases on that last sequence there. He's been solid at short today, but his throw was off the mark. So, Chief Zimmer, two for three. Chief Zimmer's going to hit this one in the center field. Lange underneath that will make the catch, and his one away in the Cleveland eighth. They trail 11-2. to two. Tucker, and he will get on base. He doesn't usually get a hit, but he wraps one in the right field. 
And it's first and second for Suter Sullivan. He's one for three with a double today. And Sullivan grounds this one down to McCormick. And this could be two. One and two, and that ends the eighth inning. Oh, boy. So things are not looking good whatsoever for the Spiders. So their win streak looks to be snapped at one, unless they have a terrific bottom of the ninth. It's Jimmy Ryan coming up. Jimmy Ryan, and he's going to hit this one deep into the outfield, but getting back and making the catch is the left fielder, Harley. Headline for tomorrow's sports section, Cleveland Tribune Spiders squished by the orphanage kids from the Windy City. Yes. Yes, the poor Spiders were. They, they didn't get catch anybody in their web. Green hits this one deep, and that's going to be over the head of Dowd. And, oh boy, yes, we're going to go for the triple here. Green sliding into third base with a triple, using his speed and the poor arm of Dowd out there. And with one away, Wolverton's up. And Wolverton's an A bunter, so we're going to go for it here. We're going suicide squeeze all the way. Here it is. Chance for sixes. Wolverton drops the bunt down, and it's fielded by Mulpin over to first base. That's his only play, and another run comes in. So the Chicago Orphans not messing around here. They got that runner home, sacrificing the out, and the man at first base. But a terrific bunt by Wolverton. And Billy Lange coming up, and Lange, he's going to extend the inning. As Maupin having a hard time mopping up here. Bill Everett now. Bill Everett. And uh-oh, he's going to hit this one deep. But Dodd will get there to make the catch. And finally the inning ends. But they tack on one more. It's a 10-run orphan lead as we go to the bottom of the ninth. Jack Taylor of the Planet of the Apes. He's trying to be bright eyes here and get this, this show on the road. So Cleveland coming up. Mop in the pitcher. And no, it's going to be Clements. So they're going to bring in Clements. Clements, hand to Cements. And Clements is going to ground this one down to DeMontreville and is one away. Tommy Dowd, he's hitting 203. 0 for 4 today. And Taylor struck him out. And there's two away here. And Chicago's one out away from leaving Cleveland with a win. Taylor to pitch to Harley. And he hit him. He hit him, and there was an F-bomb flying from the spider bench of the squeeze play. Yeah, they don't like being shown up like that, and they were definitely showing up on that play. Quinn trying to keep the game going here. The Cleveland Plain Dealer State's comedy of errors help orphans win. Yes, yes. Well, each team has four errors. It's the 17 hits by Chicago that has been probably the difference. Quinn hits us in the center, and that should wrap it up. Lange underneath makes the catch. And that does it there. So the final from Cleveland, it's going to be the Orphans, 12, and the Spiders, too. 17 hits for the, for the visitors in this game. Uh, who did well here? Um, boy, I tell you, Everett and DeMontreville each had three hits. Green, Wolverton, Lange, and Chance each had two. Everybody had at least one hit, even the pitcher. For Chicago. So not a good day. It said 9,972 attendance. That's not what happened. <laughs> but but a, a for effort. <laughs> you know, this must be some fake news they're reporting on. You know, what, what kind of data is this? This would get you banned off of Twitter. <laughs> that, that attendance. So that is that. So it's a spider loss. We'll update the standings. Hey, let's check the standings, by the way. Just to show you where everything is. Uh, league stats. So Cleveland stands at 1-12 and 12 on the season. Philadelphia is still running away with this one right now. They are 14-2. and two. Baltimore behind them at 11-5. and five. And then Louisville and Chicago both four games back. So Chicago, a big win for them. They improved to 10-6 to six today on the channel. We'll come back to Studio B and wrap things up. So, hey, thanks a lot for tuning in. Um, I usually don't do a uh, Wednesday um, show. Yeah, because we, this is when we usually record, but with Ron under the weather. Recording's going to be a little late this week, as I mentioned. It's going to be Saturday night. We are live Saturday night around 7.30 with Tebow. And we're going to be talking uh, a lot of APA stuff, as well as some other things as well. So Saturday night, live show, Digital to Dice with Tebow. And then the following Saturday night, May 7th, probably around 7.30 again, we have the author, 
of the Spiders book, Misfits, baseball's worst team ever. Ever, we're going to talk to Jay Thomas Hetrick, and he just emailed me today. He's looking forward to being here on May seventh, talking about his book, Spiders Baseball, everything baseball. So make sure you're there May seventh. You want to talk baseball? Uh, you want to get there May seventh and chat with him. And this Saturday, it's going to be Tebow. And coming up a little bit later in May, we'll be talking to the author of the WHA book. So we'll have some hockey talks. We've got a little bit of everything going here on the channel in the spring. Looking forward to all of that. Looking forward to talking to all of you. So, hey, anyway, hey, thanks for tuning in, everybody. As we had another terrific day of Cleveland Spiders baseball. Thanks to the Meister, Mr. Meister, for sending me in the 1899 photos. I didn't know where I was going to find those, and they, I put them in today, and everything works great. So thank you so much. And again, thank you to our Patreons, our newest Patreon K fan. Thank you so much for helping support the channel and support the show. Everybody there, a big thank you to everybody that has been supporting us. It's been truly, um, it's been awesome, you guys. Thank you so much. Hey, so I'm Dave. I, I may catch you tonight. I want to play more Spiders Baseball with my new 1899 Apricots that I got. Yes, I did. I think they're homebrew. I'm not sure. But I was thinking about doing that today. I didn't have a chance to set up. But I think I'm going to try to set up tonight and play some Appa Spiders baseball. That should be 